Hey there, it's Emily. My husband Clark and I normally spend our time aboard an antique boat in the Caribbean, but we spent three months in the United States this year doing a truck camper tour around the United States, and we did it in this truck camper. Before we left, we showed you the inside of the truck, and now that we're back and we've made some improvements, I'm gonna give you another tour to see what's changed. Emily and Clark's Adventure. This is a half ton truck and it's got more than a half ton worth of stuff on it. Um, Clark's parents put on these helper springs, which were very helpful. Um, we're probably gonna put better tires on it before we go for another trip, um, just to make things a little easier. This uh, camper is actually a little smaller than the truck bed, so there's lots of good room. We did like our um, lawn chairs in here, um, other things in there. Uh, we've got the propane locker here which we also used for laundry stuff and for fire starting things. It was real convenient to get to it out here. And then in the cab, we had like water, our hoses, our jack stands. Uh, and then we each had about a backpack or two with just regular stuff that we wanted to access while we were in the cab, like our laptop and things. And then we would take them in when we went in for the night. Uh, but we tried not to keep the cab of the truck too packed. A lot of people we met just had their trucks full and full and full of blankets and stuff, everything from food to uh, clothing to everything stuffed in their truck. And we tried to minimize as much as we could so that we could just use that space for like groceries and uh, when we went shopping and such. Um, so mostly everything's inside. Let me show you inside. So we've got our outdoor step. We did add a uh, little stair tread with some zip ties. We've got another one in here. Got a step stool, makes things easier. One thing we learned very early on in our trip is to keep your feet clean inside the camper. We had so much dust and so much sand in here. Something that somebody recommended right um, after the first camper tour was to get a good broom. And boy, were they right. Every time we left a campsite, we had to sweep it out and there was tons of dirt and dust. So it's kind of living outdoors. It's good to have a place to wipe your feet. Good to have a, a broom to sweep things out. It's also good to have a pair of just slip-on shoes. Uh, as much as I like these shoes, these are kind of like the only shoes I ever wear. I have two pairs of these. But having some slip-on shoes so that you can get out and do whatever you need to do real quick and something that's waterproof and that can get all muddy uh, was really helpful too. Let's take a look inside. Let's talk about power. So one improvement you can't see is all the solar on the roof. We now have 600 watts of solar on the roof. They are flat panels that Clark installed. And we have two lithium batteries in here that power everything from our microwave to now our fridge, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, and all the accoutrements for that, including the bank manager, which Clark installed. We've got a handy battery monitor out here so we can see the state of the batteries at any given time. Obviously, we also have lots of hanging room. Well, not lots, but a little bit of hanging room for our clothes in the closet as well. Across is the bathroom, as you probably remember. We've cleaned almost everything out of the bathroom uh, since our trip ended, but we've, we had the basics in here, just soap, shampoo, uh, toilet paper. We have our pee jug, which we normally actually at night use that because it was just so cold in the bathroom a lot of the time when we were up in the mountains, it was easier to do that out here and then toss it. Uh, we have a little baggie for our socks and underwear, which we needed to wash more often than our other clothes, so that helped keep them separate. We also put this dry deck in the bottom of the shower, uh, which made it so that we weren't standing in a puddle when we were taking a shower. Under the kitchen, uh, we didn't really use the television. I think we turned it on once or twice. It didn't have very good reception, but parents wanted it, so we kept the television there. Uh, sink's working great. We added a water filter to the sink to filter our drinking water. Uh, we got some museum wax and we put our dish soap in a little pump and then we kept our toothbrushes and such out here, which was really handy. Uh, paper towel holder is especially handy. I got these wire racks at Walmart uh, where we kept, um, I repackaged all of our like um, oils and vinegar, maple syrup, all the essentials and put them up here. And then this was for cutting boards and like potatoes and onions and things that we bought along the way. And they were just the right size that the cupboards would still open up. So those are pretty handy. Um, let's see, what do we store in here? In here we stored like the coffee maker and some cooking dishes for the campfire. In here, we didn't have much, mostly stuck like bread and potato chips and other lightweight groceries up here. And it helped wedge in our dishes. We've got real dishes because we don't like to eat off plastic because we're not toddlers. And um, 
So we have the heavier dishes here, but then all the other food would pad it and sort of keep it where it needed to be. Uh, down here we've got some towel racks that we added here to the doors. One of these was here before we added another one. Uh, something we had to do was add some craft foam with some uh, hot glue here to keep them from scratching things up. Then we have this one drawer here, which is kind of like our medicine cabinet. We kept our toothpaste and hairbrushes and all that sort of stuff in here. On top of that are all of our nested frying pans and pots and things. And then we had these baskets that we used for just about everything else. These are nice because we could just take them out, put them on the counter when we were in one spot for a while, and then just put them right away. That way. And they nest enough that they kind of kept each other out of mischief. This garbage can worked fine. It was adequate. I might get something bigger and something that doesn't take up floor space if I did it again, but it worked just fine. Over here, we changed out the fridge. We had a propane fridge before and it was really touchy. It seemed to work for a while if we were in the same spot, but once we um, drove down the road, whether it was the wind or the vibration or whatever, every time we got somewhere the fridge had blown out and it wasn't working, and then we'd have to shut it all down and get it all started up. Luckily we had a secondary fridge freezer, which helped us out pretty well, but since then we said, you know, we've got the lithium, we've got the solar, might as well put in a good fridge. So we put in this new fridge uh, Clark's mom picked out, and it locks really nice too, which is great. The other one had like this big um, I don't know what you call it, like a string holding it down, and it didn't work great all the time. But this one's got a nice proper latch. Not the biggest fridge, um, but it's good for a, probably a, a weekend, and if we had that second fridge, this would be perfect. This one's got a freezer that comes out too. You can take the whole freezer out if you want and make the whole thing a fridge. So, that's new. Still learning how to use it. The microwave came in more handy more often than I thought it would. Uh, we ended up making a lot of microwave popcorn um, and other things. We stored our extra toilet paper and uh, paper towels in here, which kind of helped lock in the microwave as well. We ended up storing a lot of food here. We started storing food up here initially, but we learned very quickly not to store heavy things. Uh, there was one time when this button kind of got popped and a jar of spaghetti sauce landed here, and we've got a nice little dent in the countertop now, so we won't be doing that again. We used the stove quite a lot, especially when it was cold out. It was nice to cook inside because we got to keep the residual heat, but we also had a really great little uh, propane grill that we used a lot just on top of the picnic table. Um, we tried to cook on fires when we could, but kind of halfway through the trip we learned that there was a, a fire ban and we weren't supposed to be having fires, so we stopped cooking um, outside of uh, the camper for the most part, except within that propane grill. Yeah, this folding kitchen dining table that we used inside and outside quite a bit. It was stored down here low by the kitchen, but we added this strap to just strap it in when we were driving, which made things a lot easier. Um, we had some pillows that we added outdoor um, sort of safe throws to, so we used these inside and outside. When we had our lawn chairs, we would put these in the lawn chairs, so we used them inside, outside. That was great. A little organizer here for just regular sort of scissors, pens, um, little bits and bobs that we found. Actually, we stored it elsewhere. We didn't have it here because that's where we sat, but um, that came in handy just as a sort of a catch-all drunk junk drawer. These overhead compartments here were quite handy. Clark had all of his tools and wiring and everything up there, which was really great. I think here we mostly had a lot of storage. We had some food, but we had a lot of storage stuff that we were just moving from New York to Florida, so we just sort of shoved stuff in there and forgot about it. But I imagine this would be a great place for food and snacks and other things, entertainment. Um, I think we had our Bluetooth speaker up here. Um, it was a great, great little place to access. Moving on to the bed area, uh, you might notice from the last video we have curtains now because we have an off-grid air conditioner which we'll do a whole video on. This is the same air conditioning that Clark developed for the boat to run off batteries at night so we don't ever have to be plugged in or run a generator. Uh, same sort of thing but this is the air-cooled version. Again, totally other video. Um, this is the original uh, air conditioner that came with the camper. We've never ever used it. Sure it works fine but it is a an energy hog. So, and this whole trip was about not plugging in, not going to regular campgrounds. So the way we did that uh, was to have this, which we actually didn't install until late, very late in the trip. So we really just worked off the propane heater for the most part. 
Uh, the bedding situation when you're going from hot to cold to hot and back and forth was um, a little tricky because there was so much bulk that we could have brought for bedding to keep us warm, but it would have been in the way uh, when we were in places that were, were hot where we needed to be cool. So what we did is we had these two flannel sleeping bags. So um, they're normally individual sleeping bags. We zip them together at like a big pocket and put the mattress in there. So it became extra padding for the mattress. And then when it was really cold, we just stripped the sheet off and slipped sort of inside the bed as it were. And then we could just get by with this one little blanket. Aside from the two travel pillows that we brought along, these smaller ones, we had this body pillow, um, which I thought was kind of silly to start with, but it really fills in the gap between the mattress and the wall. And when it was really cold or really hot out, because this is a, a all metal camper, um, there's a lot of condensation and stuff that happens. So this was a good barrier between the, the wall and the uh, mattress. We effectively could make the mattress bigger. And if we wanted to watch TV, we normally like put the laptop over there on top of the fridge freezer and this could become like a headboard to raise your heads up, so. Over here, this is what I worked out for our clothing storage. Uh, storing clothes in a small space is all about subdivision so you can find what you need really fast. So this allowed us to have like a couple areas for Clara, a couple areas for me. We also were able to shove socks and shoes in these empty spaces, sort of like socks and underwear here and utilize that whole space because there really isn't much closet space. Um, this worked out really well. I didn't end up securing them to the walls when we traveled. I just picked them up and put them on the bed, uh, but might secure them to the walls in the future. Over on this side, this was already built in. We added this little support, this kind of retainer here. We had another one of those gray baskets like the ones under the sink that we put up here and it was a great place to just store the medicines and Kleenex and water bottles and things that you would need uh, when you're in bed in the middle of the night. And especially I'm on the wall. I didn't want to crawl over Clark to go get things that I needed. Got a little fan here, installed a uh, rod here too so we could have some paper towels on this side. Uh, it's amazing how messy I can get in a small space very quickly. So just being able to be within reach of towels or paper towels all the time is great. And then here in our sitting area, we added a few of these little button lights, which were handy. There's a few here and there's a few like in the closet and under the sink places where we couldn't really see very well at night with a flashlight. And they've lasted a long time. I think we've had them for, I don't know, two, three months now. So the batteries are still good. And of course we have our map, which shows all the places that our camper has been or places that we still want to go. And um, we're going to leave this with the camper so Clark's mom and dad can have fun adding other pins to it as they go too. So overall, this has been a really great camper for us. We're looking forward to our next trip, we hope. Um, having four-wheel drive has been really awesome to get to places that we couldn't normally go and not having a trailer to tow behind us and worry about uh, has been really awesome. It was kind of a, a really good middle ground between having an actual camper, you know, because we had a fridge, we had propane heater when we were in places that was mixed uh, camping on tents and camping in truck campers, we were like the most luxurious vehicle around, which felt a little guilty, but felt really good because we had the heat, we had all the necessities that we needed, and it took us no time to set up camp. So we could really enjoy the most of our day, get somewhere, and then, I mean, worst case, we just turn on the heater and we go to sleep. Um, we didn't have to pitch a tent or anything. And we had that benefit of being mobile. So I really think that this particular camper was a good middle ground for us, and I'm looking forward to going on some more trips in it. As always, thanks for watching our videos and coming along on our adventures. I hope you're out there having some great adventures. If you have questions about this rig or our trip, we're going to continue posting all of our travel logs from the trip and we'll continue answering questions about it. So uh, leave your questions below. Uh, be sure to subscribe and share this video with a friend. Thanks so much. See you next time. We don't have adventure